What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Mike and Tyler here. Today we're at Rinsky at Renaissance Park. Uh, it's a really awesome park. They actually have three courses out here. Rinsky's the short one. Then they have Grays, which is kind of the medium one. And Golds, which is a, a championship level course. They may have played the World Championship there once. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, like I said, this one's pretty short, pretty fun. Uh, should be a good day, but it's super windy. So we'll see how it goes. Let's get it. Let's get after it. Beautiful, beautiful intro, Tyler. Pole one, 320 feet, straight shot. The road is OB, uh, strong headwind in the face today. So I usually just go out to the right and try to swing something in on a big hyzer. So with the wind, I'm gonna go with a Tesla today, a little more stable, see if I can get 320 on my first shot today. You got it. Pretty good. Oh, a little short. All right, I'm gonna try the Zeus with the headwind. I wanted to up the speed a little bit. The wind is definitely a bit yeah, of a there. hindrance. It's definitely there. All right, I'm gonna try a boss now. I don't know, this thing is, I don't know, it might flip over, we'll see. Shoo-wee. <laughs> roll, baby. Roll, roll. That is crazy. Didn't think that would do it's it. It's coming back to you. <laughs> oh. All, right. All right, well. ESP nuke. Let's see if the headwind can do something to this. He nuked it. Now turn. Now skip. Ooh, not that's bad. Not bad. I want AVR here. All right. Little headwind still. All right. Perfect. Get out of here with a pa. All righty. A little windy. Woo! Right over the butt, right over the bar. As long as it's in. It's in. Hole, duh. 185, par three. Couple options here. I like to go this route through these crepe myrtles uh, with something a little bit sharper of an edge, maybe like a firebird, so it can skip off to the left back, back to the basket. You can try a backhand turnover over the trees uh, or forehand over the trees if you're lefty, of course. Lefty backhand over the trees. Fun hole. All right, we're going with the firebird. Again, just going to try and skip it over there. I'm not really sure what the wind's going to do with this. That is some thick grass. No skip. All right. So you, hit the, you hit the thick part. I think you got to try to push it a little more. All right, I'm going to go Raptor after I save this caterpillar. Get off the tee pad, dude. All right. That'll skip. That'll still, put. Still going to be a tester with this wind. That's true. Let's get it close. I throw good, nose down good a lot. Layup. Good layup. Good putt, Mike. Ooh, it almost got away from me. Be able to get a few out here today. On to the next. All right, hole number three, 230. One of my favorite holes out here for sure. It's a little backhand down the right side gap here, and then you just want to let it fade in there softly. Uh, great little ace run, but I have never aced it or seen it aced. Or come close. Uh, but it actually, the wind calmed down for a minute, so hopefully we get a good chance. But I'm going to throw my P3, and I just try to huck a putter, but a lot of people throw mid-ranges. Oh, 
Go. That's all you need right there. Oh, it's a little short. You think? It, it kind of nicked that tree, but I, I okay. think it'll be all right. It's on. Ooh, push. About the same, uh, right? I think it got through. Getting it this week, hopefully. I don't know what it is though. Mm. Park nice. City, Park, Park City. Good, P2. He's going P2. We got a bit of a ceiling issue here. Okay, I thought he was about to try to flick it for a second. Get in. Oh, good run, dude. Thank you. Tried. I really tried. Good putt. Thank you, sir. There it is. Nice putt. We got new tee signs. Oh, Hole four, par three, 237. Two options. I think me and Mike are gonna go on this right side, throw something over stable, get it some height, let it fight back left. Or you can go on this left side, maybe a mid-range, under stable, Pump it out straight and let it fade or turn over to the right. And Mike's got the buck. All right, I'm gonna go with a halo strike, even though it's only 237. <laughs> well, try you to get it crank up, it up there. Try to get it up high and let it turn. Oh, that's terrible. Damn it. Well, I'm going with the Firebird. Oh yeah, get around it. Good rip, dude. Push you left a little bit. I have no idea where it went. I think he got just around the corner. Sit down. You got that. Woo, nice bird. Get to take off. Extra inches I can get there. All right. Good putt. Nice birdie. Thank you. All right, hole number five. Short little par three, 190 feet. Just kind of goes up and then turns down softly to the right. So for most people, it's gonna be like a little forehand pig, forehand zone, or you can throw a soft little turnover putter down there. But uh, pretty fun little hole, definitely a good ace run for sure. Absolutely. So I'm going to try a pig today. We're going to try to turn this P2 over. Come on, keep going. Nice. It's a long putt. A little glow pig here. Going right at Brandon. All right. Good putt. Here we go. Nice putt. A little floppy. All right, hole six, par three, 270. Uh, you can throw a lot of things here. Putter, mid-range, fairway. You just want to push straight, kind of that pine tree in the middle. And before you get there, you just want it to fade slowly left, right towards the basket. All right, going with the soft proxy. Oh, he's going putter. Come on now. Okay. That's the pine tree I was talking about. Good pull. <laughs> I'm gonna go the opposite and I'm gonna go with a nine speed sidewinder. Try to push it down that gap there on the right side. Or the left side. 
That should work. I mean, you're going to be left. Oh, a little tree kick there. Okay. Should work. That should be got fine, a, though. Got a putt. Yeah. P2. Right at the tree. Oh, at that's least a you tester. Got a, you got a clean look from there, though. That's a tester. Good putt. Thanks. Nice bird. No. It was funny because nothing. Two stroke swing. Nothing. Hole number seven, another short 188 par three. Tight little tunnel, and then the hole is going to push up to the right. Most people are going to throw a forehand zone, or honestly, I've thrown a Firebird here. Anything you can get to go up and go right. There is a little tight backhand gap if you can get it inside here or throw something like late and flippy, but it's only 188, so I'm going to go with a zone. See if I can get it up there. Get through. Oh, that is a horrible place to be. <laughs> all right, we got the Firebird. I just want to hit the gap. That's all I want. Get down. That's a good shot. A little right. deep, probably a little turnover to help me save par maybe. Nice up, Mike. All right, thanks. Ain't got much here. Oh man, good bid. <laughs> that was so close. All right. Just hoping to have something. He's ready. A couple of pies. There we go. I'm happy with that after that drive. All right. Hole eight, par three, 320. Longest hole in the course? I think so. Just straight across the field. It's tucked in that little grove of trees. Uh, we got some tailwind. So throw something maybe a little bit more understable. Uh, it says 320, but it's, it's a pump. Mike, you're up. All right. I'm gonna throw my road runner. Oh, that's some crazy wind play, but great shot. Jeez, that, that got I thought it was gonna be perfect, and then it just. All right, going to turn. You got dropped too. Yeah. But. Good to go, All right. Easy paw. Wind's picking up. Yep. Just for my putt. I had to throw it right to left. Quick. Great, great birdie. Great birdie. All right. Paw for the course. Well done, sir. Good birdie, dude. That was sick. Hole number nine, 185. Common theme out here. Uh, this one is pretty cool. It has two fairways, so you can go down the left side with like a little forehand zone, get through the gap, and then get it to go right. Or you can throw down this right side little backhand. And I like something a little more stable, like a zone. But you could also do a little mid-range and kind of just fight, and try to get through the trees. But I think it's a little easier to go down the left, so I'm going to go forehand zone. Fierce. Going on the left side and hoping that I don't hit a tree. No. That's a tree. Almost All right, the end of that let's go zone. Do your job. That's not it. That's not your job. Couple trees. I'm gonna go with little pig here, and I don't know. Feels weird. That's not it. 
but oh man for hamburger tree good shot That's messed up. That hurt. That's messed up. Nice par. Thank you. Man, that sucked. That was a mean spit out. If I had a Berg, man, that would have been easy par. Hole 10, par 3, 158. Weird hole, very short hole. Um, it's just off to the left with the backhand. The end of the fairway is just right there, so it's really hard. So I try to just do a little touchy forehand turnover with a slower disc and hope I don't hit any trees. That's the story. Mm -hmm. Rock three. Lord help me. Wow. Best I've ever seen. Hey yo. That was sick. All right, I'm gonna go uh, under stable fairway and try to throw it low and skip it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, too fine. too hard. That's fine. I gotta make this to keep up with Tyler. Too much. Good. A little That's too not much. The way I thought you would have missed. No, not me either. Hole number 11, 249 feet, pretty much straight up. One thing about this hole is it is slightly uphill, so a lot of people throwing backhand will tend to throw into the ground, so just something to keep in mind. Uh, but you can do backhand mid-range, kind of flip it up and just go right at it. Or you can throw a forehand and try to flex it kind of around the tree. Um, but yeah, pretty fun little hole. And I think we're probably going to do one forehand, one backhand. Yes, we are. All right. I'm going to go with the Mako 3. Flip. Oh, no flip today, oh, huh? A little tree kick, though. All that right. That helped. Not bad. All right, I'm going to go with my Raptor and hopefully get one to flex in there a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I had it, dude. Nice start, Mike. Thanks. You're clear to putt. Clear to putt. Wow, oh, good run. that thing got dropped. I didn't it even feel that wind. Pushed it down. Great bird. All right. Make up for that bogey a couple holes ago. All right, so that gets me to foe. And I think we're tied. Hole 12, Rinsky, par three, 275. Straight down the gap, what makes this hole hard is the ceiling. So it's only 275, but because of the ceiling, you probably want to go throw something like a fairway driver just so we can push it straight. If you hit the ground beforehand, it'll slide right up to the basket as long as it doesn't hit a root. All right, I'm gonna go with my old trusty Valkyrie. A little tailwind, so hopefully this thing will be flippy enough to go straight. Okay, that should work. A little left. But. Yeah. I'm going to go with the G Star Eagle. Summon my inner Calvin Heimberg. Ha <laughs> ha! See, I tried to whip it like him and it, and it didn't work. Little P2 action.
Get off that, please. Oh, thank goodness. You're good. Good up. Thank you. Good, Mike. Uh, that was an easy one. Just off. Just a little right. All right, good par. Hole 13, 180 feet straight down the pipe here. A little leaning tree makes it tricky. So it's gonna be a putter for most people. I'm gonna backhand an envy. And is it my turn? Yes. So Wow, it went a little further than Great I thought. Great gap hit, Mike. Thanks. Don't want the soft proxy. Eh? Okay, I'll take that. All right, see if I can get the berg up there. Got that one tree in the middle to beat. Woo, boy. Great shot. Thank you. Great bird. There we go. Just had to break out Mr. Meeseeks, you know. Great little par save there. Thanks, sir. Hole 14, par three, 268. It's just up and to the right in that little grove of trees. It's a really fun hole. Mid-range fairway, forehand, backhand, all of it will get you there. And Mike's got the box. All right. Let's go, Sidewinder. Just go, what is that? Oh my <laughs> God. What in the There's world? There's a lot of wind out there. Well, I I've never really... seen my driver do that. I didn't get a wind read off Mike, so I'm just gonna toss a Mako. You're going through. with a Mako? Bold. Wow. <laughs> Still really short, but okay. that wind is wild. I've got a new par two hole from over here because I didn't even go 150 feet. Swing it on in there. All right. <clears throat> oh boy, good run. I hit my gap in the trees. Oh. Yep. A couple more pars. All right, hole 15. Actually, it's hole ski 15. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah, I didn't I even didn't realize they said that. That's funny. Par three, 174. Is this what we call a triple mando here? It is. Yes, it so is. you want to keep it low and pipe a putter or mid-range down there. <laughs> Forehand, backhand, whatever you feel comfortable with. Uh, the wind is down for a second, so I'm going to hurry up and throw this. I'm Show going P3. Show it your pipe, Mike. Is it me? Yep. That is a beauty. That'll work. Soft proxy. That's a beautiful pipe. Sure. It is. Get up. Skip. Oh, nice. Two of the better drives you'll yes, sir, see yes, sir. here today on Park and Rec. Good putt. Woo. Almost didn't go in though. Star frame. Nice. Nice bird, Mike. You too, bud. Thank you. Polsky 16, par three, 315. It's a pretty tough shot. For some reason, I never birdie it. Uh, but you want to throw something a little understable with some speed and just have it drift over to the right towards the basket. You can probably get a forehand there if you got a bomb. Oh yeah, the road is out of bounds. And Mike's the wind dummy. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm throwing something pretty flippy here. Barsby Roadrunner. Uh, there is wind in the face, so I would prefer to go right than to go out of bounds. So I'm gonna test the wind out. I think you got past it. Yeah, just barely. 
I'm going with the river. This? <clears throat> no, I always try to like remember to hop up there. That was <clears throat> such a weird run up. Can't go wrong with P2. A little windy. Let's go right at it. Okay. Burton. Not too bad. I'll go with P2. That's better. Nice. Thank you. Nice mm. par. All right. We get the pig. Polsky 17, 268 feet up and to the right. So the road is OB. I generally throw a backhand turnover with something flippy like a Leopard or Valkyrie. If it's not too windy, you can also get there with a mid-range. Uh, if you have a big forehand, you can get there uh, with a forehand. And then also there's a crazy line. You can throw something backhand over these trees and then try to get it to flex back. Uh, but as the trees have gotten bigger, that shot's gotten a little tougher. Mm -hmm. um, I think, is it me? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm gonna go Valkyrie, try to go high and just turn it. Get down, get down. Okay. Inbounds. Going with the river. It's hers right there. I know, it's not that far, but. Oh, I think it's too much. That is too much. Roll. Just don't roll out. All right, that's fine. Nice up, Mike. Thank you. P2. Oh, get down. That was terrible. Terrible. Woo, tried to jump out. Couple of birds. I mean, par. Couple of pars. <laughs> hey. Okay, hole 18. Last hole. Par 3, 215. Straight ahead, we got a little gap off the tee. The cypress tree on the left can come into play if you don't hit a straight one. Uh, putter, mid-range, uh, and hopefully we hit Jeff smack dab in his jaw. <laughs> right down there. All right, I think it's still me. Yep. We got a little headwind, so I'm going to go with my truth. Just try to pipe it on a straight line. <laughs> Not bad. That was fun. Windy, for sure. All right, I'm going to try the proxy. It's dirty. Oh, there is headwind. Okay. Well, that's a long putt. All right, I'm gonna set us up for the star frame, Mike. Do it. No. Oh, <laughs> no. That hurt. Way to close it out, Mike. All right, I'm taking casual relief towards the basket, especially sure. since Mike already took it. All right. <laughs> you gotta know the rules guys it'll save you strokes yeah. look who we found a wild jefe what up so that was 18 holes out here at rinsky fun time i just barely got tyler today the wind it's was a battle. challenge but uh, if you're around and you want to shoot 10 down come on out to rinsky yeah it's a fun well, course you shoot 10 down? no oh, okay. but they will oh, i'm about <laughs> I mean, to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if y'all want to see the other two courses out here, Renaissance Gray and Renaissance Gold, just let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll see y'all soon. Peace, Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>